next area I want to touch on is not really an expression, but it's all part of pulling together item types and defining these, and that's something called a pick list. Now, pick lists allow you to define this predefined list of values so you don't have users typing things in and getting different uh, inputs, different cases on it, different spellings, that you can have them pick and get an absolute value matching what you want in there. What is capable, though, that a lot of people don't realize is that you can build hierarchical lists where you can have one list built on another. It's also, there are different ways to store the list. You can store lists in DGN files themselves, or you can store your lists out in an Excel file and have it read from there. I would recommend that you always store your lists out in the Excel files, unless they're very small, very static, never changing lists. Then you might want to store it in the DGN. But otherwise, I would always put it out into the Excel file where it's going to be easier to update and expand. It's also more powerful. When you're reading a list from an Excel file, you can do it a couple different ways. You can certainly read a range or a column or a named range, but the one you really want to focus on using is the custom, which allows you to match some value. So you're going to go out to that Excel file and you're going to match a value and it's going to return a list of those things that match that value. Now that's where hierarchical pick lists come into play. They are a value where we're going to filter based on another item type property. So in this case, my first pick list is my type of fruit. If I picked apples, then the second pick list, my variety of fruit, is only going to present varieties that are apples. If we, in that first pick list, chose something like cherries, then that second pick list would only show values that are cherries. A lot of uses for this. I mean, think about like signs. I want to go pick the sign series and then the types of signs under it. All kinds of different uses for why you would want to build a hierarchical list. They're very easy to build. The only difference is this key value from setting right here. So I'm going in and I'm setting up a pick list, pick list from Excel. I'm using the custom style. But when I get down here, if I choose Excel right here, what I'm going to do is provide a value that's in that Excel spreadsheet that matches. That's going to be kind of a static value in there. If I choose item type, what I then get to provide in this last property here is another item type property. So in this case, I'm saying go read the value of this property right here, and that's what I'm going to match when I do the pick list. And I can stack that hierarchy multiple levels deep if I wanted to. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.